What is the most damage you can cause with $10? Buy a bag of fries. Take it to an outdoor subway underground whatever station. Slowly feed bits of the fries to pigeons. Amass several hundred pigeons in front of you. Waiting for fries. When the next train comes. Just before the doors close. Hold the entire bag of fries into the car so the pigeons follow it into the car. But the people don't have time to get out. Ideally do this just before a long section without any stops. Followed by several underground station. Repeat 15 times, fries are cheap. You forgot soak fries in laxatives step. Are you the joker geezus? Damage to others or to yourself? Cause you can buy cat's movie ticket. This one is straight up evil. Calm down Satan. You guys can get movie tickets for $10? Buy a plastic deck chair and leave it in a massive intersection. I heard this caused a 6 lane each way highway to jam 4 hours once. My sister and I placed a box of cereal in the middle of an aisle at the grocery store. It caused a traffic jam affecting the other aisles. Nobody would pick it up and put it away. Everyone tried really hard not to hit it with their carts. $9. 50 worth of glitter and a stamp address to a clean lab environment. And here I am thinking my $10 plot to start WW3 was the worst one. But you are just evil. Asterisk. No clean lab would open mail inside the clean area. A sock filled with $10 in quarters could mess a few people up. Every time you tell that your kids put a quarter in your no yelling sock and soon you'll have a weapon too. Try $10 in pennies. Nickels would be most effective. Find twin 3 year old boys at Walmart. Show them the money and tell them whoever makes more people scream inside the store can have it. Bottle of brake fluid and an expensive car dealership. Drizzle on hoods. Wreck finish forever. Sounds like an expedited ticket to jail. Most dealerships have pretty heavy lot security cameras. So that's definitely a cheap way to cause a lot of damage to the rest of your life. Bogo at its worst. Pouring caramel on someone's windshield. No. Just no. What did caramel ever do to you? Sweet. Delicious. Mouth watering treat. Light it on fire and use your burning $10 bill to start a bigger fire. Hum. Australia seems to have experience in this field. Why not buy some lighters and start a lot of fires? 1. 000, 000, 000 pennies. Empire State Building. Make it hail. Spend 5 on super glue. Use glue to secure the other 5 to the floor of a Walmart entrance. I knew a guy who welded a quarter on top of a nail. Then nailed it into a wooden dock. You would reliably see 2 to 3 people try to get to each day. Exchange that remaining $5 into quarters and glue them to the floor instead. Much harder to remove and can be repeated many times. Fill someone's exhaust with expander foam. Pour sugar in their gas tank. Spray it down the window seal of the car doors. It bonds all moving parts in the doors. Now the car has to be taken apart to get the doors off since they can't open normally. Step 1. Accept that you will not live once this plan is enacted. Step 2. Collect the bill from an infectious disease laboratory experiment where they see how long diseases last when transmitted by money. This is a real thing. Collect carefully once you're sure it's got some lethal nastiness all over it. Step 3. While the bill is being infected. Practice the key move on yourself. Using your own wrists. Once you've got it. Look for chances to retrieve the bill. Step 4. Approach one of the following people. Angela Merkel. Boris Johnson. Or whoever the president of Ukraine is by that point. Step 5. While shaking their hand. Give them a wrist slash percut using the infected $10 bill. Then state I do this for America. In flawless Muscovite Russian. Anytime you must state why you did what you did. Repeat the sentence. Edit. Oh. Silver. My first ever edit bling. And it's this. Thanks. Kind stranger. 
$10 can buy a bottle of gut wrench vodka. It's like an adult choose your adventure book. With every choice leading to incarceration. Cheap vodka. For when you want to commit war crimes in Russian. Buy a thing of ladybugs and release them into someone's house. Use the leftover cash to buy mint seeds and plant them in the same enemy's front lawn. They'll never get it all out. $10 worth of tap water. That's got to be a good few gallons. Right? Half goes into the hospital's power supply. The other half into the backup power supply. You asked. My tap water is approx 0 dollars. 003 per gallon. So ignoring service and sewer charges. That's over 3000 gallons. That's gonna leave a mark. Jesus Christ. $10 worth of crickets from a pet store. Released somewhere awesome. Release at a comedy venue. $10 jumbo bag of Jolly Ranchers. Lick each one and stick them everywhere on somebody's car. When they go to pull them off they also pull off the paint. Bonus points if it is hot day and the candies melt. Just have to lick it off your car. Why waste perfectly good candy? Hire two pies to investigate each other on Fiverr. Guy 1. Delivers complete biography containing Guy 2's in a most secret sass and all info you will ever need to steal his identity. Along with a cost breakdown on why Guy 1's services are better than Guy 2's. Guy 2. Mails you macaroni art that reads I like turtles. 1000 pennies dumped into the inner mechanisms of a hydroelectric generator. Use the pennies to block all regulation and safety systems of a nuclear power plant. Cause meltdown and contaminate a section of the country. If you have pennies left. Repeat. Exchange the $10 for 1000 pennies. Pay a $10 lunch in a super busy fast food restaurant with only pennies. In the UK you can only pay up to 20p I think with pennies. After that you can refuse service. Probably a similar rule on the US. Tell my friend's husband's ex-in-laws about their wonderful son doing porn and ask about how their daughter, husband's ex-wife, could forget about signing divorce papers. Cause you can't get married in our province legally if you're still married to someone else. I was the mob. I was at the wedding. If he was still married. The certificate would have never come and they would have been sent a notice stating that the marriage could not be finalized. Dot. The $10 is for me to get some Timmy's. Photocopy it and attempt to buy something with the fake money. Scanners and printers won't work with money like that. Look up the Urian constellation if you're curious. Take a shti and flatten it carefully between a folded $10 bill freeze until solid slide it into the cracked window of a crush's car on a hot day so it defrosts and gets all over their upholstery they will marry you within one year. This works every time. Buy $10 worth of diesel and dump it in the next groundwater source. A few drops can ruin 1000 liters water. Okay this one is evil. Criminal and lethal for a bunch of life forms. You and the arsonists win this one. Lost my full gas tank in my truck last year driving. Probs wasn't good for the environment you owe. Buy a dead rat. Frozen from lab supply. Buy a single large ball jar. Buy a small bottle of hydrogen peroxide. Use the leftover $4 for alcohol. Cause this is gonna get weird. Drop the rat in the jar. It has to fit. Although you could trim it if feeling plucky. Add about 2 minus 4 inches of peroxide and then an equal amount of water. The jar should have at least half of its height and headspace, no liquid. Twist the lid on as tight as you can. You now have the most potent stink bomb you can imagine. As the peroxide breaks down the rat flesh it will hyperputrefy with the oxygen, to a point where the death stink will be increased to vomitous levels at 25 feet. From detonation. Depending on ambient temp. The bottle will swell and explode between a few days and a week. Put it in someone's closet. Under their bed. Or couch. And they will likely have to sell their house. Cause that stank ain't ever coming out. Clarification. This is not a bomb for throwing. This is a bomb for hiding and leaving for days and destroying property. Making it unlivable via stank. 
Do I win? Roll the note up really tight and then poke someone's eyes out with it. Buy a hoe at the hardware store. And go to a golf course at night. Rip apart all 18 greens for $75. a piece. I grew up in Pinehurst. Instructions unclear. Couldn't buy a woman at the hardware store. Bag of nails. And slowly dump them on the freeway. Make sure they're the right kind of nails. Big fat head roofing nails that have a chance of landing upright. Give it to your best friend and ask him to test if your girlfriend would cheat on you. They are still together. Don't need all $10. Take a box of matches into the woods in California. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more.